Hello everyone, I'm Legos Forever and I'm going to show you how I record on my Casio CTK 611. So recording on the Casio CTK 611 is a little bit harder than everything else. Basically, I can't go back and fix anything if I messed up unless I redo an entire track. So just for like an example, like if I click memory, go to my first track I'm able to record on and I say do something like um, Mozart and I screw up, I can't go back and fix that. That's just how it's going to record and play. So everything that I play has to either be perfect the first time or as close to perfect as I can possibly make it and then go back through and fix it. So, for the sake of this video, I will be using the song For the Damaged Coda by Blonde Redhead. Also used as Evil Morty's, you know, theme from Rick and Morty. Um, so basically what I'm going to do for the first track, I'm just going to do the piano at the very beginning and then I'll add to it for later on. Now, I'm going to explain a few things. So first, I did hit a wrong note somewhere in here on, I think, the third or fourth uh, progression. So, I do apologize for that, and, but that but that's the thing. So, all like you probably could hear and see even a few mistakes I made back there. If I want to change those, I have to record, re-record the entire thing. So that's why, like, if I manage to do a recording and there's, like, one or two mistakes, kind of like this, then I'll probably just let it slide because... I'm lazy at times, and I don't want to go back through and fix that, so... Uh, so that's that. I did play that a little bit faster. It was probably a lot faster than the actual song is played. I do this in two separate ways. The way I just did it was I just eyeballed it, I just winged it, see what happens. The other way is that I will have my headphones in my ear, and I'll have the actual song playing on the, key on the, you know, the laptop and then I'll be playing along with the song. Uh, I do that at times, but there's other times where my tempo for some reason is off, I have hesitating notes here and there, so sometimes if I wanna, if, if I wanna play and make it sound good without any hesitation, I just really gotta just eyeball it, because that's how it's gonna come out the best uh, for me. 
So that's for the damage coda, but it's a recording, so I can add more to it. So I have five other, five other tracks that I can do. I guess I'm going to add the uh, synth voice track next time for this one. So, so basically, I can't just skip forward to where the voices come in for this song. I have to start straight from the very beginning and then play when they come in. I could cut it early at that point, that's one thing I can do, I can cut it early after that because the synth voices don't really do anything else after that. Maybe like a sound here and there, but for the keyboard and for the sake of this recording I'm not going to do that. So those are those two things, but what else does the song have? The song has a drum kit as well. Now I'm going to warn you right now, I can do all these other things, but the drum kit is my hardest thing to do. I have such a hard time with the drum kit, so I'm going to try and do this and I hope it's gonna sound good because if not then I'm gonna edit to when it does sound good okay if it doesn't sound good then I'll keep recording like I'll delete it record it and then do it again I'll freaking know
and for the most part, that's how I do my recordings. So, again, if you hear anything in the background of the recordings, like a note missed here, an extra note here, that's because it's very difficult to record the way I, re I record, and it's not, easy, it's not the easiest thing in the world, and it's not even the cleanest thing in the world. Um, I do have a program on my computer that I could record on and use, but I need to pay for it because I only have really the demo version. It's like 300 plus bucks. It's really expensive and I don't have the money for that. So this is what I have to work with right now. And this is it, very beautiful. Like, like I said, like there's um, certain instruments. There's like an, uh, there's an echo or organ on here. It sounds really nice. <laughs> echo and, and every, everything just sounds great. The recording is difficult though, but I love doing it. So this was pro so this video is going to be one of two parts. So this is how I do these kind of recordings where I just basically take a few instruments, throw them together, just eyeball it really, and just pray, pray for the best. Just pray for the best. But there's another version of these recordings that I do with the rhythms. I'll get to that in probably the next video, either the next video or maybe a video like f further down the road. Uh, but not too further down the road, probably like later on this month if, or early next month or something like that. But that is For the Damage Coda by Blonde Redhead. Played pretty much as good as a recording as I can get off of this. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the video, but if you did, please like the video, comment down below suggesting other things for the channel, whether it be LEGO videos, vlog videos, piano videos, challenges, anything in general. Uh, even more videos like this, because I actually really enjoy doing these, even if I'm not that good at them. And without much else to say, oh yeah, subscribe for more videos from my channel every Thursday. That's a thing to remember. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed this. As good as it could be, and tally ho, everyone. Bye.